Hey guys, welcome to another multiplayer round. We got Akos and Numbfingers on Crow's Nest, Ikigai Springs, and Northern Breeze. None of these holes look too crazy unless the wind gets crazy. So let's jump into it and see what happens. Starting out here on Crow's Nest 6, I take the glide skip rive nice and high, give it almost a full disc of hyzer, and back off the power a little bit. Let's see if it's going to get up here. Oh, could be close. Get a good skip. Oh, just off. I got that a uh, lot more dialed on the one wind, that two wind. Ooh, who is that? Who almost had that? That was Akos. Of course, he almost had it. Uh, very strong player there. He was my team captain in Valley League Season 1 when I got to play that one that time through. Valley League's a lot of fun so far. My team's sitting in third, the Smile High Club. This is a big square with tough wind. I'm going to go Sapphire instead of Musket. Give it that hyzer to counteract the wind. The roll sapphire rather than the roll musket. Just make sure I'm clearing over these trees here on the left side. It looks like I didn't quite give it enough hyzer and pass the trees that way. I have fortunate little roll, a little bit closer to the basket. A cost is in. Numb fingers looks like he's caught up in the trees a little bit. But I'm 81 feet through is about 50. Give that tiny bit of hyzer so that the fade as it's slowing down in the headwind is going to bring it right there into the heart of the basket. Numbfinger is taking the three, so we got a little bit of a lead over him there. Tied up with a cost. Going into hole three. Hole three, easy peasy. Take the roll sapphire. Could probably even do musket in this wind. Point at the basket, give it a straight pull back. We'll be right up here for one of the easier eagles in the game. This one, Lakeside 2, I think are in competition. Get that fuse down there, perfect. I think Lakeside 2 might be a little bit easier. Really just because there's the flat throw in. Akos, uh oh, where's he going? That's a big roll. Is that going to stay safe? Seen some people stay safe on these cliffs down there. Maybe not. No, it wasn't. And Oh, and off the rim there, there's a spit out. That was a nasty spit out. That's a bummer for him there, but we'll take the lead. Moving to our second course here, Ikigai Springs, big three wind, glide roll rive. Let's sling it out there and see what happens. We got a little bit of lead, so I'm not going to worry too much. Stay safe there. Stay safe. Oh, stop. Yeah. Nice. The sapphire line does not get there in that three headwind. So I had to go rive to power off a bit and get far enough. Glad that that did work out. I was really mostly winging that. Dropping this fuse. Taking the eagle. Looks like Numbfingers is going the water skip line. Maybe caught the rocks on the edge there and didn't quite get it. But he's across here now and getting his par. See what ne wins we're getting on these next ones. Crazy wins make for crazy plays. You got to get creative when you get big wins. Oh, oh I was going to go for it too. I'll take the skip rive, this wind pushing me. I really want to make sure I can turn this corner and get a little bit closer up there. Probably couldn't give more hyzer. Stop. Stop. Oh, that OB line was coming up real fast. On this approach, I usually like to go up kind of the road on that hillside, but I've seen people go up this side here. I'm going to go after a wind musket. Good ground play. Good ground play. I kind of like that. I'm usually trying to flex a sapphire kind of straight up the gap at that basket. But coming around the backside, uh, there's the trees to contend with. I'll have to play around a little bit with that because the trees catch it. And I still have a good look at the basket. That might be the better play. Now, sapphire, sapphire, when I can do it, it's usually my go-to. But if there's something better, I'm, I'm open to go and rive off the tee if it creates something more consistent for me. Last hole of Icky Guy Springs here, Icky Guy Springs 9, another big wind. Let's get the Paradigm. I'm not going to aim down low because I don't want it to turn too hard. Over here, perfect. Big skip might have given me up there to give an eagle look. This hole would definitely be better, in my opinion, if it was a little bit shorter, even like 100 feet shorter. That, that way a strong wind like that or a big drive could bring Eagle into play more easily as it is right now. There's hardly any reason to go for Eagle. I mean, there's a great drive and still 263 for a death throw in. Not much incentive there to really go for it. 
We are uh, having the lead going into Northern Breeze. Northern Breeze, hopefully we can just clean this up nicely. We have here Northern Breeze 1. The 2 win, take the harp down low to the right. And give this a little bit extra Anheuser to counteract that 2 pushing wind. Should get up on the little mound here. And stop for a quick almost tap in. Just get away from that tree. And tap this in. Perfect. Glad that's getting in there. Thankfully, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I know it's been a while since I posted videos. I was sick and lost my voice. If you watched my Valley video, you heard my voice was completely shot. It sounded terrible in there. This is like day one of getting my voice back after that. It's been almost a week. Real pain in the butt and definitely no chance of making a lot of videos. Or I can hardly talk. So this is actually an old round. I'm putting some commentary back over right now because my voice is back. This one, I don't trust the hope. So I'm going to take the river. I've seen people take this line with the river so it doesn't fade as hard. Let's see if the wind can push me in there. Miss that tree? Yes, it does miss the tree. And it is here for this birdie. Looks like a cost went fine over the top there on that skip. Numb fingers. It was, looks like a, oh, he went around the wide, the same route as me there. And he fell up just a little bit shorter, able to get his birdie in. A cost taking the bogey. 10 6 2. So we're going to be coming away with the win with this one unless we screw up real bad. Northern Breeze 9, the one wind. We're going to end it with the Glide Sapphire. Top Chevron on that building and a full disc of Heiser. Really want to play around with this one a bit more and see if I can find an aim point that doesn't require the Heiser. That can give me a flat release here. I just don't like having to deal with the hyzer if I don't have to. 60 feet, knock it in there, and finishing this up. Very strong. That's it. The last one's in there. It's always fun when there's different wins. The wind certainly creates some good separation on the cards and creates a place where you got to get creative. Well, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that you can stay bogey-free.